<clears throat> Hi, my name is Ellie Ray. I use they or he pronouns, and I am now 347 days sober. I haven't posted the last few days because the flu that I came down with was making it hard for me to talk, and also, for once I had Christmas activities that... I'm sorry, I'm having trouble speaking right now. I am not doing so well, and I think that it is super important for me to post videos about days when I'm not doing so well. Especially when I have no idea why I'm not doing so well other than still having a low grade fever after a few days. My cycle of PMDD stuff is still being worked out super fun. And I am super triggered by this holiday, and I didn't realize that. For the last few years, I've said to myself and on social media, this is my first safe Christmas. The first Christmas I've had away from abusers, where I felt like things were going to be okay, and up until this year, it's been a lie. There was a lot of stuff that came up yesterday, and that's the sucky part about getting better, is that Sometimes the better you get and you're able to sit in a space of safety, all this stuff comes to the surface. And damn, I didn't want any of it to come up and I didn't want it to hurt this bad and feel this scary. This wasn't a good holiday for me and I am just now processing that. I knew that my family situation was not as happy as other people's, but it's as I get sober, as I have more time away from them, I just feel the significance of of days like this. And this is it's so hard to articulate the trauma of it. I keep thinking it wasn't as bad as, as it was. It couldn't have been, and I mean, all of the stuff that I've been trying to run from by drinking for the last like 15 to 16 years, man, like, this is the first day around, the, <laughs> this is the first time in my life where I am in a safe enough place to feel it and look at it, and I don't want to. I really want to be drunk right now. If it weren't for interviews and it weren't for the fact that I have really good friends who are being supportive with me the last few days, I definitely would have relapsed this week. Because of the injustice of getting a flu shot that, I, that got me sick and then getting the flu anyway, because of how hard this holiday is for me, because of the new information that came to light about one of the many abusive people that I've dated where things were a lot more dangerous than I had realized at the time <laughs> and the PMDD thing. This last year, these high level stressful things kept rising to the surface and I was staying with my abusive parent at the at that point because I had gotten kicked out of a sober house and I had nowhere to go. Uh, I was working on my ums with this one. So I wasn't safe last year. And I was dealing with, with things that I hadn't known I would have to deal with so immediately in my sobriety. It, issues with health insurance, with my car breaking down, with my new job not being great, with f trying to find a new place to live, with losing contact with my with a group of people that I thought were my friends um, from treatment. I don't know if any of this is making sense. One of one of my anxieties is that I'm not being clear, and that really comes from a place of like self abuse and doubt. I wanted to share this today because. Objectively, 
I look her up. <laughs> I mean, look at this. There is no reason for me to be this upset. This is my first safe Christmas. Why don't I feel safe? And it's not even that I don't feel safe. It's that I don't feel good. I feel wired. I feel jumpy. I feel sick and heavy and weird and ungrateful. I don't feel right in my body. My partner and I just did my fourth HRT shot and we're supposed to do like 0.25 milliliters per dose. It's, it's, it's a pretty routine number and the vial uh, that we were using didn't have enough of the testosterone liquid and so that was another stressor of is this enough? Uh, I have to wait until Tuesday to find out if my testosterone levels are okay and to replace the vials I was working on. To try to make this as easy to understand to people who are not going through HRT, who are not sober, who are not, who don't have PTSD, I... I don't know how to handle this day. I don't know how to handle this day. Everything in me wants to get drunk or to injure myself or to find a different substance that will hurt me or being sober, I, I hear now louder than ever the pleading voice inside of me that was there with me throughout my teenage years of, oh my God, dude, run. Now there's nothing for me to run from and I just have to sit in it and that sucks. I started these videos because I didn't see anything like this in terms of information for other recovering addicts. I was feeling sick a lot of days and then upset and angry and then really good others. And I found very few videos that said that that kind of fluctuation was extreme and beautiful and constant and confusing. It is so unnerving to get sober. And I say this as someone who's almost a year sober, like, I'm starting to realize that there is no should in terms of when you start to feel okay again. I don't know. I I, I wish I could I could share some something about how I'm coping with today or, or give advice to other people, but my main advice right now is to be vulnerable and tell people where you're at because my friends and partners said that that's when that was really helpful for them and that I've been really brave about speaking up of like, oh, I don't feel good, this is a thing. It doesn't make it go away, but I can't hide my emotions or who I am anymore. And I don't ever want to hide my longing to do, al do alcohol, to drink alcohol again. I don't want it to be something that I can't talk about. So today on now the fifth night of Hanukkah and Boxing Day in the United States, I am just going to accept that I feel really bad and weird and all of these memories of other Christmases are coming up and I don't know where to put all of this stuff and I don't even know what it means to sit with it. I'm just gonna have to and pray uh, to my any higher power I have, a squirrel holding a cupcake, that I will be so thankful and proud of myself next year for getting through this year of the, oh my God, my life has been this. Maybe if I have more months of solidified okayness and safeness, I, I won't feel like my safety and sanity are so precarious. Anyway, I thank God for an abuse. Thank God for my friends. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for listening. Alley out.